Next gen is definitely better. Like, you could actually, like, well, at least so far since I'm playing it, you could definitely wager on this game. I would not put my money up on current gen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right there from the OG Rap Master Sensei himself. One of the people that single-handedly put 2K20 on his bike with the wages and carried that thing to freedom. I'm talking about 2K20. They, they look, from what the people were saying, it was in shambles. And then, look, he and Ticino put it on their bike with the wages and went it on to freedom. And it, it had one of the best years ever. So many people blew up during 2K20, not so much during 21. I'm looking at Twitch right now, and I'm seeing so many people on Twitch over 100. You got to go like six rows deep to see, see it go under 100. It could be just because of the beginning or or is it because 2k 20 22 is actually a good game or is it because 2k 21 was such a letdown and 2k 22 is so refreshing everybody's just so happy to be back right now i don't know i can't tell the difference i don't want to tell the difference i really don't care all i know is views are up viewership is up twitch streams are up everything is looking up and i mean that's all that we can ask for in the 2k community just a chance for everybody to be able to eat, man. But check it out, man. So, like I said, big shout out to Rat for that. To actually, for actually, say I heard a lot of content creators saying that uh that they prefer next gen over current gen. Let me know if you got both. Do you prefer next gen over current gen? Do you think next gen is better than current gen? Uh, I got both. I have not played current gen yet. I've seen a lot of current gen. I've seen a lot of next gen. I just feel like even though the gameplay is about the same or what have you, that um I feel like even though the gameplay is the same, that next gen is just a little bit tighter, I guess. Like, you, like you're just not gonna get away with quite as much on next gen as you will on current gen. Because I know that there's the speed boost left, right, all that good stuff, it, it, it's it's on both of them. I even seen your boy early, Founcer out there uh, earlier today, you know what I'm saying, Playing, making his character and, and going over the next gen. So we are gonna see how it is, man. If the stage community comes to next gen, then I think that's all the affirmation that we need, that next gen is, uh, is the preferred, I'm not gonna say better, I would just say it's preferred by, by most people. And it could just be because most people are just tired because current gen feels like current gen all over again, just by, just, just stress from looking without the double speed boost, man. But anyway, man, that ain't what this video is about. Let me know what build you like you got down in the comment section. Let me know which gen you think is, is better, and which, which one is better right now, and which one do you think has the more potential for the longevity and all of that. Like I said, y'all already know I'm rocking with next gen but i will be putting up content for current gen because i know a lot of people just haven't had the opportunity to get the playstation yet or to get the uh xbox series x or s yet even though anybody that wants the xbox you can get one of those i don't know what type of deal microsoft has uh with the with the silicon providers and stuff like that but hey you can get these joints man so it is what it is um the biggest thing is uh, just like the PlayStation, you just can't get them. And I don't know if that's something that Sony's trying to do with rarity or whatever, or, or, or what it is. But what I do know is, I told y'all yesterday, 2K put out the video, uh, I put out a video that 2K said that they had fixed gym rap. They fixed the gym rap badge. They did all of that good stuff. I wasn't convinced, so I came in here and, um, a, a nice, a very nice surprise. I have the gym rap badge. I grinded that joint out. Everything's looking good. And, uh, you see, I got two bars down there. I didn't think I was gonna have a two bars. Uh, I thought I was just gonna have one because right now I got Gatorade. Right now I got one of the Gatorade rewards that they gave me with the, um, you know, with 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 getting like level thirty something or whatever. But when I came in, so I'm used to just seeing one bar. Came in the Gatorade facility, I got two bars, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I probably won't buy boost for the rest of the year just because of the fact that I see, like, I, I, I as a defender, you only need that one bar, right? Or maybe sometimes you need two bars, but if I feel like I need both, I'm gonna put on Tyler's Defender or something like that. But I haven't, I've been able to, with having this extra bar, I've been able to take off Tyler's Defender and I've been able to do my thing, man. So, I mean, I appreciate 2K for that. Going out, helping us out, actually updating something that actually makes sense and making something work. Cause so many people had the badge, bro. And they just, we just weren't able to use it. So big shout out to 2K for that. And uh, really, the last thing we got on the list, man, is we got uh, you got your boy Young Mike, Mike, Young Mike, uh, talking about some stuff, man. You know what I'm talking about. We got some tweets popping off down here. We gonna let this game play that y'all don't care about in the background where we play the actual. You know what I'm saying? We play the actual. Uh, some guys actually was decent at the game and all that good stuff, but we don't care about that. This is what we care about, Mike. Hey, so we had uh, D Fam says, "Dang, I believe." 
Oh dang, but I believe blue you know, the buff the buff the silver rim protector low key uh in the new patch update. I could be tripping, but I barely re I but I but I'm barely receiving blocks now. Uh, more fouls than anything. Well, well, regardless, I'm happy to see they fixed the major issues. No complaints over here or what have you. And then the one dude said I meant nerf, not buff. So that's what he said. I, I, I um, you know, whatever, whatever. And then Mike says we still haven't made any gameplay change balancing uh, changes. We haven't made any. Downward chimes in and says Mike, why does the game always seem untuned at every launch? People may people may be having fun, but. I can see that the game is in the same state it's in every launch. Same things that cause phase. Oh, okay, okay. So he did say something about it. Same thing that caused phase to be an issue last year. On ball still supposed to be this common. Uh, white make percentage, blah, blah, blah. And then he said, one dude said, they definitely touch steals. I don't know, I didn't play that much yesterday, so I can't tell if they touch steals. Uh, don't buff or nerf anything, a dang thing. Just fix the next gen park, uh, park wreck kickouts with the servers, uh, with the servers, and we're cool. The game is amazing. Just want to play. So a lot of what I'm seeing, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Well, a lot of what I'm seeing is this. And let me know what side you're on. Do they need to make a buff seven per hand? Do they need to? Do they need to change a buff anything, or do they just need to leave it like it is? Because I'm seeing a lot of people saying, just leave the game how it is because the game is fun. I'm making shots. I'm getting steals. I'm getting blocks. I'm done. What I'm seeing, this is a trend that I'm seeing. The the comp side of of the game, the ultra comp side don't care because they're gonna always adjust and use all the cheese. It's that mid comp um, area where where we seem to have the most problems because the, the the regular people that play that the ones that we just call bots or whatever they don't care they just want to play they know they're having fun win lose or draw they're having fun i'm having fun i'm playing the game everything's good the ultra comp they're gonna adjust like i said because they're gonna use the they're gonna use all the cheese and all of that good stuff and so they're fine like i said that mid this mid area the just below ultra comp is is where it is because it's like we we're looking at stuff like bro i'm like we see phase we like bro that shouldn't even be in the game we see steals at a high rate. We like that shouldn't even be in the game. We see we see uh, the left right stuff like that, and it's like. But then what you have to realize is that you're not gonna play against those guys all the time. Like I, I'm very rarely playing against anybody that's fading. But that's just for right now. Hopefully they get fading under control because it is an issue, and and I hope they do knock that down. But what I'm saying is, like, if you just uh, if you just playing the game, or or if you are in the stage and stuff like that, you if stays embrace the cheese. The uh the guys that aren't that good they don't care because it makes them a little bit better they're hitting every shot and stuff like that so to me it's not it's just it's just an issue with with just the mid thing i'm a content creator i really don't care about any of that anyway whatever the game whatever state the game is in i'll be fine because i'm going to play the game and i'm, I'm kind of like that i'm going to use use whatever's available to me i just hope they don't change anything too quickly because right now we're just getting to the point where everybody has all their badges and everybody's learning the the different moves and the different stuff like that i feel like if they make a change right now we could be in some real trouble and like one thing i, I mean i do want them to change the phase before they make their last patch i would like them to do that but at the same time it's just like if they if they if they nerf stuff they nerf the shooting, then that that severely limits the, the people that you can play with. If they nerf the steals, then like I said, it's gonna be the Mazda commercials all over. Zoom zoom. Everybody's gonna be zooming. Like if they do, if they nerf um the actual movement in the game, then you're gonna get plucked every time. So like like right now we're just in a very delicate place. I don't know, man. I'd rather them just leave how it is and all that good stuff and let's just figure it out from there. Like I said, them phase, they still in the game regardless if you if you believe it or not. I just don't I just don't want to see them because like I said, with when you nerf or buff anything, you have to be intentionally heavy-handed. So you gotta be heavy-handed at first with the with the buff, with the buff or the nerf. Then you got to be heavy handed with a buff and then you find somewhere in between that could take two to three patches to do that that's going to be six to eight weeks bro we ain't trying to have that like the gameplay issues i feel like a lot of the gameplay issues are fine i think i i do know that it is irritating as hell if you are somebody that's dribbling the ball and doing stuff like that to to deal with it and it's, it's irritating if you're playing that's what that was one of the obviously this is a game from the other day because of erico and it's also it's also going to be irritating if we get to a spot where we can't steal the ball at all and we can't penalize people that are bad dribblers for anything so right now 
I guess it being overly heavy handed is cool, but I just don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What needs to be tuned? How do you think it should be tuned? Because I got one dude in the dog in my comment section. That joker said, listen here, Mike. Listen here, Mike. If they drop, if they make it so that you can't steal the ball, I got a 610 play glass ready. Right now, I got all the dribble moves. I got all that. The only thing that's keeping me from using them and crushing people is that the ball gets stolen too easily uh, with this guy. So with the ball getting stolen too easily, I just can't take him out there and run point. But if they drop these things and don't let, let them get plucked like that, guess what? I'm gonna be running point. And like I said, said, that's something that people have to be mindful of, man. Do we want, so if they make changes, y'all have to realize, like, I like this game because it's a fresh game, it's a new game, it's something different, and it just feels a lot better. But if you want 2K20 back over again, if you want 2K21 back over again, just say that, and then we'll just go there, and then uh, we'll just, you, but, but y'all saw the impact that those games had on the community, and you see that this, you see the impact that this one has had. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm rocking with my boy, with my boy, uh, CEO Gucci, man, because like I said, hey, if he says that this game can be waged on, that's going to just make it more lit, more content, more everything, and he's like, I wouldn't dare wager on current gen but he's like after i see this game more i may not wager on it but right now i feel like i can wager on it and if he can wager then like i said that's gonna do nothing but be a shot in the arm to the community everybody's gonna be watching i know i'm gonna be in there that means tyceno gonna start back wagering and it's just gonna be dope man so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section um i'm gonna holler at y'all next time man till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, speak.